Hi, I'm Shannon, here to tell you about the tool that's going to take your projects from beginner to professional. And that's our cordless trim router. What I love about this tool is that everybody that sees a project I did with it always say, hey, who did you hire to do that? Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first to see videos on DIY tips, product announcements, DIY projects, and so much more. Welcome to RYOBI Tools 101. Your router is great to create detailed molding or decorative edges for a more professional and polished look. Your battery port is on the top of the tool along with the on-off switch in front and a hand grip. The middle section of the tool has an adjustable collar that allows you to set the depth of the bit. To move the collar, open the lock and press the lever. This side of the tool has a depth gauge in addition to a micro adjustment knob which will raise or lower the bit in smaller increments. Towards the bottom, you've got your base plate, your collet which holds the bit, and an LED work light to help illuminate your workspace. Now when it comes to bits, there are a ton to choose from. Bits like this roundover bit that have a bearing run along the edge of the wood to create an edge detail. Bits without a bearing, like this straight fit, cut through a piece of wood or trim an edge. To insert your bit, place it into the collet so the shank is fully inserted. Pull the bit out about 1 16th of an inch, and this is because the bit is going to get hot when you're using it and it's going to need some room to expand. Press the lock button to stop the collet from spinning, tighten the collet with your finger, and then use a wrench to tighten securely. Let's talk about using the router and what you need to do to get ready. Be sure to pull your long hair back if you have it, and I wouldn't suggest any loose clothing. When you're using your router, be sure to put your hand on the grip and remember that your battery is located on top and you wanna make sure to have safety glasses and hearing protection because this thing is pretty small but mighty. So how do we handle the router? You're gonna wanna do the following. Place one hand on the grip and the other hand on top of the tool or battery and make sure that opening is away from you and the safety window towards you. So when your cuts are complete, keep your router resting on your workpiece until that bit is completely done spinning. Then go ahead and lift the tool off your material and remove your battery when you're not using it. You wanna make sure when you're turning your router on that you let it get completely up to speed before putting it on your material. When you're doing the edge of any kind of molding or trim work, you wanna go left to right. So think of it like reading a book. You're gonna move left to right. Now if you're doing something where you have the edge and you don't wanna nick that edge, go ahead and start a little bit off of that space, come in maybe an inch, go ahead and run that router, and then go back and finish that off with another direction, going the opposite way. It might take you a couple times to get routing perfect and you might wanna do a couple runs on a test piece just to make sure you have it before actually working on your project. If you wanna go deeper than an eighth of an inch, suggestion is that you maybe go through that a couple times with shallow passes before getting down to that depth you need. When you're all set and you're done making your route, make sure that that bit is completely done spinning before you lift it off your workpiece. Be sure to remove your battery when you're not using your router or when you're making any adjustments. This tool will certainly take your projects next level, but make sure you're reading your operator's manual for any instructions or safety warnings. All right, so now that you know the basics of using your router, get out there and find out what new projects you can tackle. Thanks for joining us. Hey RYOBI Nation, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Tools 101. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe and comment below. Let us know what projects you wanna hear more about and what you're working on in your own homes. So let's get out there and build together.